Hello, my name is Dietmar Sekanina. I have been working at Rosenberger as a process development engineer for eight years. Today, I will show you how the new Coldweld connector series is assembled. The connectors are available for quarter inch, three eighths inch, and the two and a half inch corrugated cables. In this video, we assemble a cold weld connector onto a half inch super flexible cable with screw corrugation. The following tools and accessories are required for cable assembly. The cold weld tool set consisting of a cordless press, a 7 8 inch press frame, and a press insert, a cordless drill, a stripping tool, a center conductor cleaner, a cable cutter, various cleaning utilities such as a brush, cotton swabs, cleaning alcohol, as well as compressed air, personal protective equipment, gloves and safety goggles. Of course, a cold weld connector and, if desired, the optional weatherproofing boot for additional protection of the connection. Now everything is ready for easy and efficient connector assembly. Cut the cable straight with the cable cutter and straighten at least 20 centimeters of the cable. If desired, slip the optional weatherproofing boot over the cable. Insert the cable into the stripping tool and start the cordless drill at the lowest speed setting. Apply constant pressure to the cable until the inner conductor stop is reached and no more material is shaved off. Now, pull the cable out of the tool and check the result. The inner conductor should now have a nice chamfer Outer conductor and cable jacket should be shortened straight, clean, and burr-free. If this is not the case, shorten the cable in a conductor with a side cutter and repeat the process. Now remove the remaining dielectric residues with the center conductor cleaner. All surfaces, including the jacket and the inner and outer conductors, must be smooth and free of burrs. A clean chamfer on the inner conductor, as well as a uniformly round-shaped outer conductor, are very important for the further assembly steps. Here you can see examples of poorly prepared cables. In such cases, the cable must be stripped again. Jacket not stripped cleanly. Inner conductor bent. Outer conductor damaged. The correct stripping dimensions for inner and outer conductors, as well as the jacket, can be checked with the gauge on the stripping tool. Make a mark on the cable sheath with the help of the connector. The outer cable conductor is positioned at the rear end of the press collar, and the cable mark is made at the starting point of the chamfer. Clean chips from the cut surfaces of the inner conductor, the dielectric, and the outer conductor using the brush. Use alcohol to dissolve any grease contamination and use compressed air to remove the last remaining particles. Screw the connector onto the prepared cable until you feel a stop. The marking on the cable jacket should now align with the end of the plug. Insert the required crimp insert for the cable into the crimping tool. Insert the connector with cable into the crimping frame and make sure that the connector end on the cable side sits neatly in the center of the press insert. Press the trigger until the pressing tool has completed the process and shuts off automatically. Avoid any pulling or pressing on the tool during the process. Caution, keep hands away from the pressing frame while the pressing tool is running. For more information on safe operation, refer to the manufacturer's tool manual. For detailed information on safety requirements, consult the manufacturer's tool manual. The installation of the connector on the cable is now complete and you can remove the finished assembly from the frame. Now we test the PIM and return loss values of the cable assembly with the Rosenberger PIM Alpha Analyzer with return loss and visoire module. Calibration for PIM measurement is not needed with this analyzer. The connector interfaces should be cleaned with compressed air to avoid falsification of the measurement due to contamination in the interface. The connections must be tightened with the specified torque. Now, 
the measurement can be started. As we can see now, the static PIM test shows that the performance is perfect. In the dynamic PIM test, where we move the cable, the analyzer also shows perfect performance. Also, the return loss measurement shows that everything is in specification. The connector can now be connected to the radio or antenna and tightened to the specified torque. If a weatherproofing boot was installed in the previous step, now slide it over the complete connector until the sealing lips snap. Cold weld connectors are very popular with installers because they are reliable, very easy and efficient to install. In addition, they achieve the same performance values as a factory installation. Thank you very much for your interest in our assembly video and have fun with the assembly of the Rosenberger cold weld connectors. Further information about the portfolio and the assembly instructions can be found on the Rosenberger website at www.rosenberger.com forward slash cold weld.